Hello friends, today we will be discussing about the management of pigmented disorder. Now pigmentation problem can vary and the spectrum is quite wide. Today we are addressing a congenital pigmentation problem of a young girl who has come to us and what she presents with is a very diffuse patchy pigmentation extending from the arm to going up to the back of the neck and up to the anterior chest wall. So this is a congenital pigmentary disorder. Mostly this is a what we call in technical terms is a nevus, uh, is a nevus of Ito and this has varying degree of pigmentation. She is complaining of a mild to moderate change in the pigmentation in the involved patch. Now she is bothered with this and we want to treat her. The best possible management in such kind of scenario is a laser treatment. Laser devices come in different forms as we know. But for pigmentation, we use NDIQ switch laser. NDIQ switch laser gives a 1064 wavelength of light and this light energy is used to solve the pigmentation problem. What it does, it breaks down the melanocyte which is there in the skin in a higher numbers which is causing the pigmentation and once this beams are fired, this is specifically absorbed by the pigment containing the cells and this is damaged and subsequently we see that there is decrease in pigmentation in due course of time with multiple sessions. Now I am using a AlmaQ machine, AlmaQ is a, a very renowned NDIQ switch laser device and what it does, it gives a very high energy of 1064 wavelength focused light and we are using focused handpiece. Focused handpiece comes in different spot size from 1 mm to 7 mm and we can vary the depth and this focused handpiece is fired on the pigmentation using different kind of energy. We have selected energy of 2.4 to 2.6. The NDIQ switch uh, laser beams is specifically absorbed by the pigments. This is the chromophore. 1064 wavelength of light is targeted for the uh, pigments and no other tissue is damaged. Only the pigment cells absorb the light and get damaged. This energy device is very helpful in pigmentary disorder and when we do the procedure, the end point of the procedure is the frosting and erythema. Frosting and erythema is very much visible and we give multiple passes of the laser energy till we attain frosting and erythema. This treatment will require multiple sessions because every session will decrease the pigmentation intensity or the severity of pigmentation gradually and over four to eight sessions we expect a significant reduction in the pigmentation. Over the course of years we have seen that many patients will come for a top-up session because once the resilience the pigmentation is drastically reduced the pigmentation can come back a little bit to some extent and for that we need a repeat treatment that's known as a top-up treatment that can vary from half yearly to yearly to two yearly depending on how quickly the pigmentation is forming back. I hope you will enjoy the video because this is a very specific problem, nagging problem, pigmentation and there is no other better treatment than this because it can attack the pigmentation, the melanocyte containing cell at different depth and we can damage all those cells and thereby decreasing the severity of the pigmentation. There are certain post of advices we give, the erythema settles down by 48 hours and she has to apply the sun blocking agent sunscreen so that the sensitive skin is protected from sunlight. So this is a gold standard treatment for pigmentary disorder, especially the nevus NDIQ switch laser. Okay, so this is a long pulse NDIQ switch lasers that is being used for treating nevus of different types. Thank you.